Howdy y'all, it's Jordan Smith. What's the one thing that would make me happily buy houses on this side of the road, but make me avoid like the plague houses on this side of the road? I'll tell you today on Smith House. So what's the one thing that I look for as I'm driving around these neighborhoods seeing if a home builder's building a good home or a not so good home? Sheathing. Now sheathing is the thing that we put on the outside of the two by four walls to do a few things. But one of its primary purposes is to keep that two by four wall from folding like an accordion on itself. If I have two two by fours stand, stood up here and they're not tied together anywhere except for the top plate and the bottom plate, they're gonna wanna fall over with any type of force coming from the side. So when we tie those together with sheathing, it keeps it from falling over. Now, if you saw several weeks ago, I was showing a home builder who didn't use any sheathing at all, and I would run from those like the plague. This is a big production home builder, and the products that they use aren't up to what I think are a good enough standard. This cardboard sheathing just doesn't have the strength that you need when you see large wind events like we have down here in Texas. In fact, there was a wind event in Dallas where some of these houses were blown nearly completely off their foundations because the sheathing was not installed correctly and the sheathing does not have the actual uh, strength that they advertise in all their brochures. Uh, independent studies by universities and by the APA, I'll link to both of those below, they've shown that this stuff just does not have the strength that they advertise. So I would never use this on any of the houses that I'm building. I would never move into one of these houses. So as you're driving the neighborhoods and you look, if you see a cardboard sheathing product like this, I would stay away from that and I would look for what I'm about to show you next. All right, so now I'm at a builder literally right across the street. And I'm, I'm going to get ran over. I'm going to get ran over. I'm trying not to get ran over. All right, so like I was saying, I'm here at a builder literally right across the street and the build quality is night and day. This is also a nationwide home builder. They're building all over the place, but the build quality is so much better. And I can tell this from this one simple thing. The sheathing here is a wood product. It's much stronger. It's much more durable because it's a OSB, which isn't the greatest thing when it comes to getting wet, but it's much better than cardboard and this OSB is coated in a WRB, a cellulose WRB, that if any water does get through the siding and hits it, it's able to drain and get out and not damage the structure. So this is a great product for both um, shear strength as well as keeping water out, as well as keeping air out because all of the seams are taped. I don't know whether you noticed on the other one or not, but the, the manufacturer's recommended install is an overlapping seam with staples, but there's no tape there. So that's going to keep out most of your air on an infiltration standpoint because you're sucking it in. But when you blow out, it's going to be able to escape through those cracks. When you tape all of the seams like this, it's a much better install. And then also here on the windows, they're doing a, a pan. They're flashing that with the zip stretch tape, which is a great product for a production home builder to use because they're able to get it in there, stretch it all out. And if any water leaks through those windows, it's able to find its way outside. The other home was using a similar product. They were using a plastic little cat thing so everybody's doing pans when you're building at this level because if you don't you know that lawsuits for water damage will put you out of business in a hurry so all of these guys pay special attention to water infiltration into their homes but this is a much better much more durable product than the cardboard that we saw over on the other side I've put a few links below so you can do your own research you can figure out what works well and what may not work as advertised if you're buying a home like this pay attention to the details don't just go into a finished home because once it's finished all of your cladding is going to look very similar all of the appliances are going to look very similar the floors the lights everything that you can see will look very similar because they know that that's what people can see and if they have a association with like stainless steel being quality then they're going to say well this has got stainless steel that's got stainless steel appliances and both of them have granite therefore they must both be good houses but that is not the case. This house here is selling for right around $200 a square foot. The house across the street was selling for right around $200 a square foot. So they're selling for a very similar price point, but this one is just a much 
better built home. I hope this helps. Comment below with any other questions that you have, any other topics that you want me to cover about production builders. Um, if you can afford it, go custom because then you can tell them exactly the way you want to build. But if you're going production, look for some of these details like this. Subscribe if we've earned it. Go follow us over on our social media and we'll see you next time on Smith House. That's the other problem with these house farm neighborhoods. They look so similar. I don't know whether I can find my way out. I was just at this house. I just filmed it. I just, I know I should have marked it on the GPS. Ah, uh, I think I found it. So, uh, there it is. No.